Are you currently running Google ads or maybe you're in the process of setting up your campaigns and when you do, you're going to be applying some kind of location targeting that is geographically restricting where you want to show your ads. Now, what most people don't realize is that the default setting by Google is designed that it can actually go beyond your location targeting. I know, a bit crazy, right? So for most people, particularly local businesses, you wanna change this default setting to be a different setting so that they won't go outside the scope of what your targeting, uh, your location targeting is gonna be. And I'm gonna walk you through this, exactly where to find this right now. So here we are in a live Google ad account. I've actually just gone through the setup process, but you can still do this with existing campaigns. You'll see here um, this target, this presence or interest, people in regularly in or who've shown interest in your target locations. The key here is who've shown interest in your target location. So let's say I've got a campaign that is targeting the United States. If somebody is not actually physically in the United States, but has shown interest in the United States, maybe they're looking to travel there, then my ads will still be shown. For most people, they don't want this. They only want the people who are in their target location. So my recommendation is to change this to people in or regularly in your target location. Unfortunately, you can't just do people in, I wish you could, if Google, you're listening, that's one of my <laughs> requests, but unfortunately that's as tight as you can make it. So don't leave it with this default location targeting setting. My recommendation is to change it. This is just one of what I call Google gotchas that Google have embedded in their Google ad system. I've actually compiled a list of all these gotchas in this free guide, which you can download at this particular page. Just put in your name and email, and I send it to you and there's about 14 or 15 different gotchas that you can download. Alrighty, so don't fall for this trap. And if you like this video, hit that thumbs up icon and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.